If you have a Zug Z2 Plus and you're looted and you're actually looking for a ROM which is very stable based on Android Audio, then you have clicked on the right video. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Shubham Uja and let's get into the video. So if you are new to flashing ROMs then what you have to do basically is boot into recovery and wipe everything except for internal storage and then you have to tap on install and locate where you have downloaded the file. The file is actually the ROM and after selecting it you also have to flash gapps along with the ROM. Uh, you can actually do it individually or you can actually just tap on add more zips and select that. After that let it install, it's flashing the ROM and when it gets done I'm showing you how the ROM looks like. So this is how the ROM looks like on the first boot. I have actually set it up and if I show you this is based on Android 8.1.1 and as you can see I'm on baseband version 1.76 which is the latest one and you have to be at least on version 1.70 and if it still gives any problems related network you have to update. And now if I show you the customizations in this ROM there are tons of customizations as you can see you can actually edit every single thing on your phone you can customize it and there are two more things uh, actually the new things you can actually add uh, more things onto the power menu and then you have the gesture of long pressing power button and activating the torch you can actually have that in this build as well. And one more new thing in this build is actually long pressing power button and you get advanced reboot in AEX as well now. It wasn't there earlier but now it is there. And now as this ROM is based on Android 8.1 so you have the option to actually change the theme of the system UI. You can actually make it light or dark as you can see. It's dark now. It's not gonna make big difference in the battery life because it's an LCD panel but if you're using a OnePlus 3 with AMOLED uh, display it's gonna make a big difference in the battery life. And it's pretty cool to have like options. And now if I show you the long press to wake up torch uh, gesture, it's there, it's working fine and it's very handy as well. And as you can see it works totally fine, no problems at all. And you can actually disable it as well. And now if I show you the new app in this ROM, uh, in this specific build is Retro Music. And the UI of this music app is cool, you can have it. If you don't like it then you can obviously uninstall it as well. And YouTube also works in this build and if some of the people have installed the previous 30th December build, you know YouTube didn't work but this time it works totally fine, no problems at all. And now if I show you the gaming problem, here things get a little tricky because the performance of the UI is pretty good, no problems here. But gaming, I don't know why AX doesn't do good in this department. There are few frame drops here and there and the game also stutters so it's not a good experience there but to fix this you can flash AR Beast kernel and you're good to go so this was my review of this ROM and it's pretty stable you can actually flash this on your Zook device and yeah this was pretty much it for the video as well so thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it then make sure to give it a thumbs up comment down below what's your favorite ROM and this was Shubham signing off